So cute. What's up and welcome back to my channel. For today's YouTuber video, I'm going to be doing my everyday fall under 20 minutes, literally just timed it, makeup routine. I'm gonna be doing my makeup and my hair and I'm gonna be timing it and showing you exactly how I do it and how quick and easy and simple it is. I use this look to go to the store, to go to church, to go on a date, anything. It's very classy yet sassy. <laughs> so stick around if you want to see how you can get this and this in less than 20 minutes. All right, here we go. So first step is I take my hydrating face primer by Unique and I put about a pea size in both my hands, rub it together, and then just rub this all over my face. Next, I'm going to take my stick foundation in the color Satin by Unique. Yes, I know this looks incredibly dark for my skin, but if you look at my neck and my chest, it is the same color as them. So that is what I match it to. My face just doesn't tan very well. And I'm going to zoom you guys in because you're kind of far away and I want to be all close and personal. Next, I'm going to go in with my concealer and conceal all the red spots that I want to conceal like under my nose and put this on all of the highlight points of my face. I use this as a concealer and also kind of like a highlighter thing. <laughs> I don't really know what it's called. Next, I'm going to use my Tati Beauty mini sponge and just set all the places that I just put those concealer and anywhere that I really, really don't want the makeup to slide. Like right there under my jaw, I always have problems because I touch my face a lot, so I set my face really well right there so it doesn't smudge off throughout the day. Now just wiping that all away so I have a nice, clean, soft canvas to work with for bronzer. Going in with this super, super old bronzer palette from Tarte, I'm just gonna dip this in and be incredibly messy with this bronzer. I don't like to be precise because I don't want it to look, I want it to look as natural as possible. Really, really love to hit my under jaw because it really creates that shadow and gets rid of any like double chin that I might have. Now just using my finger, I'm going to go in with some highlight, tops of my cheeks, right above my brow bone and down my nose is where I love to do it the most. And then after that, I just blend it back in with my bronzer. Since I'm using my finger and not a brush, it can create harsh lines. So I just kind of blend it in with the same bronzer brush and it really just creates that soft look. And now typical Brianna, I'm realizing that I don't like the lighting and I'm a little shiny. So here I am just darkening up a bit. <laughs> Going in with some blush. I don't know why I use blush this day. I usually don't even put blush on my face, but I guess I was just, you know, feeling it. So here we go. Whenever I do use blush though, I only put it on the apples of my cheeks and just like right up where I would normally put my bronzer. So really it just pinkens up the bronzer a bit. With another Tati Beauty product, I'm gonna go in with the lightest brown shade right there. And I am very, very messily <laughs> gonna blend this all over my lid, on the crease, uh, basically up to my eyebrows, on my lids, just everywhere. Next, going in with this orange shade, I pop this directly into my crease. I try not to go anywhere else in the crease and then just a little bit on the outer V on my lid, just to give it a little bit more definition. I just really love how this warms up the look and gives it a nice fall color. Now going in with the darkest brown color of the palette, I'm going to hit that outer corner of the lid and then just barely sweep it across the crease. And all this is doing is darkening up and deepening the look just a little bit more. Now if you think you blended enough, just go back in and blend some more. As you can see, I have the other brush literally in my mouth because I don't waste time. I don't need to like look down and find the other brush. I want it in my mouth exactly where I know where it's at so I can pop it back on, blend out some more, grab the other color, blend out some more. I am efficient. Now taking the orange and the deepest brown color that I have, I'm just gonna smudge this all over my waterline. Grabbing some 40 mascara, I'm just popping this on the lower lashes. 
finishing it off with some setting spray and I douse my face guys like I am not subtle with the setting spray I love a good setting spray popping on a nice mauve lip and just barely over 10 minutes we are done with the face moving straight in with the hair I just section it off put it <laughs> tuck it in my bra because I just did my lipstick and I can't I can't mess that up and going backwards to forwards, doing this little mermaid curl thing. I don't even know where I learned this from. Honestly, probably YouTube, but I love the curls that this way of curling, the style of curling gives me. So I'm just gonna let you sit back and enjoy a little fast forward. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Our official time was 18 minutes, 48 seconds. Like I knew it was fast, but I didn't realize it was that fast. Hair, makeup, everything out the door. Check out my other YouTuber videos. I'm super proud of them and I want to show them off to you guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you guys in my next video.